Hello, in this video you'll be introduced to one of our online resources for searching for uh, entries in encyclopedias and dictionaries. We'll take this one step further and look to see how we can use the bibliographies from an encyclopedia entry to learn where we might head next for our research. Today we're going to look at one specific resource called Credo Reference. To do this, we must go to the library homepage at www.gord.edu slash library and then head down to the Search the Library section. Click on the Databases tab and then click on View All Databases. You're seeing a list of all of the databases we have access to at the library. I told you we're going to be looking at Credo Reference, our online encyclopedia and dictionary search engine. Go ahead and click on See and then scroll down until you find Credo at the bottom. Background information contained in encyclopedias and dictionaries are a great way to get you familiar with your topic, but also teach you about keywords that you might use to search and show you where you can head next. Let's say we were looking for information about Eastern Orthodox Christianity. I'm going to go ahead and type in that as one of my keywords. Notice as I do, Credo gives me some questions about how do I want to search this, and one of them is History of the Orthodox Church, or History of Eastern Orthodox Christianity. That's a good place for me to begin. Once you click search, your results are telling you where different entries are found in different encyclopedias that Credo contains. We can also see that there's this great map of ideas connecting you to other narrower concepts within the field of the history of Orthodox Christianity. Scrolling down, I'm going to click into the second one here that comes from the Global Dictionary of Theology. Here we can see this looks pretty much like a typical encyclopedia entry. We could learn and read more about this particular history as it's written. What I want us to start thinking about as we look at information coming from encyclopedias and dictionaries is how we can follow the trails of research. And what do I mean by this? If we scroll down to the bottom of this encyclopedia entry, we can see a bibliography of sources that were consulted while the authors of this particular entry were putting together this text. Notice that most of these that we're seeing in this entry are books. So what I might ask myself next as a researcher is, can I find any of these books at Gordon and use them for my particular paper that I might be writing or my project? We're going to look at this first one here. The title is Eastern Orthodox Theology, a Contemporary Re Reader. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And what resource do we use for searching for books? That's right, the Noble Catalog. So to access the Noble Catalog, I'm going to go back to the library homepage here, click on my first tab in that Search the Library section, and then click on More Catalog Search Options. Here we're going to paste in the title of that book that we found and go ahead and click search and we're asking does Jenks Library have access to this. You'll see in my results it actually came up as the very first one. We can click into this and learn where in our library we can find this book. It's located on stack level one and we can use this call number to find the book. So this is one way where we might take our research a step further. We learned a little bit of basic information from this credo reference entry on Orthodox Christianity, but we need to learn more ultimately for the paper that we're writing so we can go ahead and check this book out and see where might I head next. Following the trails of research through someone's bibliography is one of the greatest ways to build your own bibliography. See if you can do this not only for books, but journal articles that you might discover and other things like that. Good luck!